God bless you all for being here at the school, for opening your hearts to whatever it is the Lord is calling you to do to serve, especially the sophomores as you're participating in these service opportunities, learning how to put your faith into action. So that's really, really powerful. No matter what we do in the world, there's so many talking heads out there, right? There's so many voices in the media, on the internet, on television, that say so many things that it's really hard to get your voice into the conversation. But when you do something, when you do something for others, that makes a profound impact that you'll never really know the measure of until we get to the other side, until we make it to our goal, which is to be in heaven, right? That's the goal, to get to that eternal life that we were promised by the Lord. This morning in the scriptures, we have scripture readings at Mass every day, and in the Gospel, Jesus talks about there is nothing that's hidden that will not be revealed. Nothing hidden that will not be revealed. And that's really powerful for you right now in your life. Because you're at a point where you're making decisions about your future, right? And you're wondering, where am I going to be in four years? Where am I going to be in two years? And maybe for you who are seniors, where am I going to be in the spring? Where am I going to be in the fall? You're making these powerful choices about the rest of your life that will impact your future. And that's so beautiful. But don't be afraid, because there's nothing hidden that will not be revealed. If you open your heart to the Lord, He's going to show you where to go and what to do. And that's amazing. I know in my own life, I had a lot of questions about the future. I thought I was going to be a journalist. I thought I was going to be a documentary filmmaker. I thought I was going to be a CIA agent. All these crazy things. But when I started opening my heart and more and more to the Lord, He revealed to me all of those things that were hidden. And this vocation to be a sister was nothing I ever thought I would ever do in my entire life. But He opened my heart to that, and I followed it. And I can tell you that there has never been any greater joy than I've ever experienced until after I said yes to that. So whatever he's calling you to do, respond to the call because it's so beautiful and just open your heart. And don't be afraid of obstacles. I shared with the sophomores yesterday that I had $94,000 in debt that I had to pay off in order to be a sister. And that's a lot of money and I definitely didn't have any money like that to resolve that issue. But I started to pray and I had friends pray with me and we started a campaign and I started running marathons in Chicago, and over a year and a half, people from all over the world heard this story, and they sent in money, people I never met before in my life, to pay off this debt. And it was down to the wire where I had two weeks and $11,000 to pay off. I was on the radio, a woman heard me, she came to our mission, she looked around, she stood underneath the picture of Mary and wrote a check for $11,400 and handed it to me, two weeks before I received the habit. And that's powerful, and that's God's work in the world, right? Because I wanted to respond to a call to live a life of service to the poor, to my brothers and sisters in need. And he saw that response, and he said, okay, I'm going to bless you. So wherever you feel called in your life, don't be afraid, because God will open every door that needs to be opened for you to respond to that call to live a life of love and service, and ultimately to be a saint. Because no matter where we're at in our journey, the call is to be a saint, and saints change the world, and saints light the world on fire, and that's so powerful. So you all will be my prayers as you move forward, and pray for me, pray for this um, project called Imagine Sisters, check it out online and on Facebook, Facebook slash Imagine Sisters. But it's really, really a powerful movement to show the world the witness of a life of love and service that religious sisters live. So we'll have some pictures up there from this visit if you want to check it out. But please pray for us and for that movement, and we'll be praying for you. So we'll just close in this prayer um, to St. Rita together. In the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear St. Rita, messenger of peace, and the world of reconciliation, despite hardship and suffering, you live the gospel message of compassion and forgiveness, and show the power of love to conquer hatred into established harmony. Help us to follow your example and to be instruments of Christ's peace. Pray that our hearts may be always open and our arms extended to pardon those who do wrong, and even to embrace the mercy of those who inflict injury. Pray that God may use our humble gestures to touch hearts and to serve peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.